Wednesday. Something exciting is happening today. Well, it already happened. Let me explain. Okay, so maybe not so exciting after having given it some more thought. I forgot the microphone. There we go, crispy audio. So, today, I think, today or yesterday, um, Snapchat released their spectacles officially here in Canada. I had these for more than half a year. And the way I got them was I had them, I used a mail forwarding service. It was called My US. I had it shipped to them in the US and they shipped it to me. And so I got it half a year ahead of everyone else. Some other people did the same, I'm sure. So this would be really exciting news, except for the fact that they're kind of late. Um, I feel like, I feel like the hype behind the spectacles have definitely died down. And I remember I made a video about the spectacles way back when I got them because I was really excited. But ever since I got the 4K camera, I haven't been using them a whole lot. I used them in the last vlog, if you have noticed. It had nothing to do with the news. I didn't even know it was coming to Canada officially. So what I'm thinking of doing is, I'm thinking of making a revisited, Snapchat revisited video um, after several months. You know, I've definitely had more experience using my pair of spectacles now. I feel like I could get some really cool shots for the video too. Maybe fun, it's something I'm interested in making. For the record, I absolutely love the spectacles. I consider this to be like my secret weapon in terms of video gear because it really gets a shot where nothing else can. You can always use a GoPro for like a first person point of view, but in some cases where the GoPro may be a little inappropriate, not to invade anyone's privacy, but the spectacles are much more discreet. And I feel like they're just way more practical as a video camera in some situations. Although the video quality is my biggest, it's my biggest gripe. I just wish that they would output slightly higher quality video. Maybe in the next iteration, I do understand that this is a first generation product, but I haven't heard much about a new product uh, to succeed the spectacles coming from Snapchat as of recently. There were some plans and leaks earlier on in the year, but they didn't really go anywhere. Not that I know of anyway. Update on the Pebble. This is the watch face I settled with right there. I absolutely love it. Uh, not a big fan of the blue. I did set the blue there myself. I kind of wish I had set it darker, but to be frank, I am kind of just, I don't really want to bother with messing around with all the colors for the meantime. So I'm just going to stick with this for now. It has like all the information I could possibly need. Current weather, the lowest it can get, highest it can get are on degrees Celsius. You got here, Kilometers walked today, time, date, battery percentage level, then sunrise and sunset. And the reason why I have sunrise and sunset on this side, on, on these, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, so I just thought it'd be nice to have it like that. I know, you know, it kind of looks better when they're on the other sides. But yeah, Pebble, definitely doing its job filling the void that has been left by my Moto 360. I almost wish I bought this instead. I've had some amazing experiences with the Moto 360, I remember, I pre-ordered it with my friend Mitcho and we were waiting for the Moto 360. We put a, it sounds incredibly materialistic, but trust me, it wasn't. We put on our calendars, it was called the dream. It just felt like we were getting a piece of future tech. Like it's, it's a wearable and back then, well I shouldn't say back then, but you know, wearable tech, even now, they're still not that popular. And so just having that, it felt like, it felt like for a moment that we were living in the future. But that ended up being a $400 loss for me and I would have been much, Less disappointed if I had just lost a pebble instead, which would only be $80. Back then it would probably be somewhere in the realm of 130. But I have no regrets. Um, loving the pebble right now. Might go ahead to shoot some footage with the spectacles in a, you know, in a moment or maybe tomorrow. That's it for now. That's the update for Tuesday. Did I say Wednesday earlier? I meant Tuesday. Okay, I'm just, it's Saturday. I haven't been vlogging like all week. Uh, I've been really messed up by school. Right now I'm just heading to the mall to pick up a package. It's nothing exciting, but it's going to contribute to a future video coming soon. So I went in there to pick up this package, but apparently there were two. I get the feeling I know what this one is for. Oh no, this is the hard drive. This is the one I went to pick up. Okay, so this one is the one that is sitting there for a while. And the post office failed to notify me 
so I didn't know that this was sitting there for a while. Cool, okay. This is a product from XZ and it's, it's a USB hub. I did not buy this. They are sending this to me for free to make a video about it. They sent me a list of a number of different products and asked me which one I would like to review. Frankly, this one was the only one I was interested in reviewing, but I think this one can be actually quite useful. This is my first time receiving a free product for this video, so this is a milestone. Today is the 14th of October, 2017. SDG Core just got a first, its first free review product. I'm gonna have some work to do. Uh, I guess I should explain why I need this Seagate hard drive. It's an external expansion hard drive. It's not for archiving my videos. I already have a solution for that. Explained in a previous vlog. This is for, I'm going to set up an antenna system to catch over the air um, television. And this is going to store all the video files that it records. Just so then I don't have to be there every time my favorite shows like the Flash and Arrow go live. I can just watch it when I have the time to. We'll probably make a video about that solution as well because that is kind of interesting to me and I feel like it'd be really helpful for a lot of you guys because I know at least a lot of my friends like to watch television and we like to talk about it a lot. I talked earlier about making a video about the spectacles. I still do want to do that, but I, want, I really want to get this really cool shot outside of me on the motorcycle, but the problem is it's been raining nonstop. It is Vancouver and it's fall, season, autumn. It's raining again and it's gonna be raining quite regularly. So I have to wait for the, you know, I have to wait for an opportune time. And I feel like tomorrow might be a good opportunity to because according to the Google Home, tomorrow is going to be 15 degrees and cloudy. I think it will look decent enough on camera. So maybe I'll record it tomorrow. That's it for now.